previously on Greg McHale's Wild Yukon. 30th of July, two days before season opener. We got a lot of miles to cover and we're gonna do it with a smile on because sheep season is right around the corner. So we gotta get up on that plateau. Almost halfway. This is about as exciting as it gets right now. Open morning. <sighs> season six begin.
about as disappointed as I've ever been on a sheep hunt. It's day one, so it's nothing to get too down about, that's for sure. But that ram, he was walking right up the drainage and the wind was swirling and I don't know if it picked up, you know, us, our movement, but we spooked him. Pretty tough to take. Now it's just a matter of figuring out another plan. <laughs> but there's always tomorrow. The three rams had pinned us down earlier, I think are in the group with the big ram. We've come around a little bit and we're going to go up and over the top and see if we can locate them because there's the big ram is in there and it's just a matter of where are they right now. So now that the wind's in our favor, we feel comfortable about going and getting a little closer. We know where we can go if the weather's bad. I see six. We've got six rams behind us, none of which are good. But I know that there's three more in this band from last night, so I just can't see them all. And we're waiting for the big guy to stand up and come walking out in this group because we've got them at 450 yards, six of the young ones. It's been a crazy day. It's been sheep all around us. Everything has walked through this saddle behind me. And I can't find three of them. And two of those are the big two. So it seems like we've spotted everything else except them. We're hoping that, like last night, everything seemed to go up this mountain behind me. And these six rams, they've already done that. So we're just gonna sit here and Hopefully they funnel through, going to the same mountain as everybody else has. Today was definitely a challenging day and then we were just pinned down by sheep all day, sometimes for you know hours and hours. So we just really couldn't move around much and don't really know what's here. It's been a challenging opening day, but let's be honest, 
anytime that uh, you're in the mountains and you're sheep hunting and you're surrounded by sheep and you just can't move is, is a pretty good day. <laughs> So it's day two of the season, certainly not day two of this hunt, but we've moved way out to the west and we're gonna give that area a bit of a break because we were just in too tight yesterday and couldn't make anything happen. Got pinned down almost all day by different sheep. It's just a small block, it's a tight area. So we hopefully learned from that mistake, backed away and we'll see what today brings. But. It, I love this overcast days. Uh, you can kind of see the glass really well. So hoping the rain stays off and I can get up high here and just really pick the place apart and see what else is moving around. All three of those rams from yesterday are there. Now it's just a matter of not blowing it again. Taking our time. Two are feeding, one's bedded down. Let's go. There we go. He's hit, he's down. He just went down, guys. It's been like 25 years. 26 years for a ram like that. I really can't believe what just happened after the day we had yesterday. We saw these sheep and we just couldn't make it happen, in fact blew the stock. I think that yesterday it was just, I was so excited to be out here opening day and just pushing and pushing and after having those rams walk away on us yesterday and coming back to camp and seeing a lot of sheep, the level just dropped and my mind is able to focus better and just really slow things down. And that's what we did this morning. Those rams put themselves in a position overnight or this morning to give us an opportunity to have, a, have another crack at it. And we've been rewarded for it. The ram down there is unbelievable. He's absolutely the, the prettiest ram I've ever taken. All the rams that are there, there was more than we actually could see. And they're all coming up to him, wondering what's going on. Educating a bunch of sheep any more than we already have is not what we want to do. So we're just going to wait it out a little while.
but they're very social creatures, very social, and this is a uh, this is impactful, and it's a little bit difficult to watch because you know that you know you just took a took an animal out of the family unit, basically. Yeah, I am ready to go. It's exciting. Other sheep have finally moved away, and now it's time to go put our hands on them. Wow, wow, I mean he is so beautiful, what an amazing animal, absolutely amazing, unbelievable. Eleven year old ram, that is the ram of my life, right there. This journey, not just this hunt, but the last 26 years of hunting sheep in the mountains and being in the Yukon, the wild places that this amazing land has to offer, it's, you get a little bit emotional because it's, it's been a long journey. It's just, it's been a lot of years and a lot of blood, sweat and tears and to be able to to share this and get it on film and to share it with Carl and Dave. We've been through a lot together in the mountains and we've been looking for something like this. And we were rewarded this morning. If it came easy, then it wouldn't be worth it. And I have to say that after all this length of time, I don't think it could be considered coming easy. And the amount of miles that the three of us, Dave and Carl and myself, have put on together over the years. We all deserve this. It's the biggest ram I've ever taken. It's the biggest ram I've ever seen alive. And guys, thank you very much for being here with me. Well, I couldn't be any happier than I am right now. The way the sheep hunt has went, there was some really low points and the highest point that I've ever had on a personal sheep hunt. So it's a pretty amazing feeling. And now we have a long way to go out and it'll be with a smile on the whole time. There's very few times in regular day-to-day -day life that you can just look around and say, wow, this is absolutely beautiful. That's why we come to wild places like this, to feel alive and to remember that the world is a wonderful and beautiful place. Well, that's the, almost the last leg of the journey. We have to get everybody out and then get back home to all of our families. I know that mine is pretty excited to see what we have, what we're bringing back home. 